The issue of happiness is something that I want all of us to take very seriously from today. If you have never adverted your mind to it, uh, Mr. Adele Akutade quoted, the, uh, quoted from uh, one of the writings of Aristotle that happiness is all about life. There's nothing you are looking for again in life outside happiness. Unfortunately, we feel that money is happiness. No. Work is happiness. No. Happiness is a different thing entirely. And that is why our forefathers, they are able, able to live longer than the present generation. They, have, they don't have much to think about. I grew up in the village, and I know that whenever we come back from the farm, we eat, and then uh, the small boys, we socialize. After that, we go to sleep. The same thing with our fathers. They drink pan wine in the front of the house. A congregation of uh, the elders, they come together and drink pan wine. They relate with each other. And at the end of the day, they go to bed. The following day, the same routine starts. But nowadays, in pursuit of happiness, uh, we pursue weight rather than happiness. And weight cannot buy happiness. There are so many things that we do that unfortunately take our happiness away, which you don't realize. Somebody who has a saloon car, immediately he bears it, he feels fulfilled. But the next day, when he's going, maybe in front of him, he saw a Homer Jeep or something like that. He no longer appreciates his saloon car. He's now pursuing Jeep. Maybe he's able to struggle to get Jeep, uh, that Jeep. You find that he now sees uh, a better car. He now starts pursuing it. So that, that will be the circle in life. So, in life, let us learn how to look at ourselves and know that the peace of mind and happiness that we are talking about can only come from us, not from any environmental factors. Then, I tell you about little mistakes that people make. Worrying about what we cannot change. For instance, now, issue of uh, power supply is nothing anybody can change for now. At least those of us that are sitting down here. So if they take life and you start worrying yourself, what you are worrying yourself for nothing, it's not something you can change. All you can do is to adapt. Maybe you buy a lantern or you buy a recharging lamp. Eh? Where well, if where well, if you know you can change it, change it will be we all clap for you. But these are things that are beyond individuals. Those of us that are sitting here, I'm not saying that uh, it should be something that uh, we should be to celebrate. No, but these are things that are beyond our individual effort. So all you can do is to adapt. Pending the time when we'll be able to go to that position, where we'll be able to change the fortune of our dear country. Then another thing, uh, assuming you have to accept everything just the way it is, that is, anything goes, whatever it brought to you, what you know you will not accept, say it loud and reject it. Don't pretend that uh, you will, I'm just accepting it. No, you are yourself. Nobody can kill you for that. Say you don't want it, you must, you must stand and be counted all the time. Don't pretend that uh, well, you are doing it because of so-so. No. Then, okay, next one. Then another thing is uh, believing someone else's definition of success. That is, measuring others or measuring yourself with the standard of others. You have your own standard. The success of somebody is his own capital of fit, but your own. Have your own standard. Measure yourself by your own standard. Do self-appraisal and self-assessment all the time. Not looking at another person. Uh, we started with together. Look at what he is. At. No! He's charting his own trajectory. You have your own trajectory to chart. So don't measure the success of others. Or use the success of others to measure your own uh, success. Yes? Then, after thoughts, the solutions to these five common mistakes provide a rough overview of what it takes to be a free thinker, a happier and an uh, enlightened soul. When you are the master of your fate and the captain of your soul, you can live the life you have always imagined for yourself. That is, be a captain of your own life. That is, you decide what constitutes happiness to you. 
what constitutes happiness to Mr. A cannot be the same with uh, Mr. B. And that is why two people are never the same. You know, you know the population of the world, but you can never suit two people that are the same. So everybody has his own standard, everyone has his own uh, standard of uh, measure. Then, things, happy, things that happy people never do. Yes? Happy people do a lot of things. They spend time, but they will never mind other people's business. If you want to be happy, please mind your own business. And unfortunately, that is common in our society. If you see two people gathering, instead of them to start thinking how they will improve on their life, they will start thinking about Mr. B. Can you see the shoe is wearing? It's not likely to be so new. And what's your own business with it? But those are things that we occupy our, our, our life with, which will not help us. They don't constitute happiness. But a happy person will not uh, continue to uh, uh, let other people's body be, be their own uh, body. Then, go on. Then habits, you must quit to be happy. If you want to be happy, there are certain things that you must quit. One is uh, procrastination. What you are supposed to do today, you say, well, I'm a bit tired today, I will do it tomorrow. Then tomorrow you continue to procrastinate. A happy person will not do that. You have so many things that tomorrow that's already championed for tomorrow. So concentrate on what you are supposed to do, what you are supposed to do today, because what you don't start today, you can't say you are finishing tomorrow. It is what you start today that you can finish tomorrow. But if you say that, well, uh, I want to leave it tomorrow and other things, that's not a good thing for somebody that decides to be happy. Then, uh, I've told you, start talking about, uh, and then quit trying to avoid change. I'm happy that somebody has talked about this issue of change. Change is very important. Don't feel that you, there's a habit that you cannot change. That is why we are human beings. When you do self-appraisal, and you feel that something is found wanting in your life, the best thing is to change. Because if there is no change, then there will be no tomorrow. When there is no change, when you have sunlight, then you know that darkness is the next thing. Because keep, things keep on uh, changing. Then keep, uh, you must avoid running away from your problems. When there is a problem, face it squarely and try to solve it. Because by the time you start rubbing, running away, you are only pushing it forward. You are pushing it forward. You still meet it. What constitutes happiness to Mr. A cannot be the same with uh, Mr. B. And that is why two people are never the same. You know, you know the population of the world, but you can never suit two people that are the same. So everybody has his own standard. Everyone has his own uh, standard of uh, measure. Then things, happy, things that happy people never do. Yes? Happy people do a lot of things. They spend time, but they will never mind other people's business. If you want to be happy, please mind your own business. And unfortunately, that is common in our society. If you see two people gathering, instead of them to start thinking how they will improve on their life, they will start thinking about Mr. B. Can you see the shoe is wearing? It's not likely to be so new. And what's your own business with it? But those are things that we occupy our, our, our life with, which will not help us. They don't constitute happiness. But a happy person will not uh, continue to uh, uh, let other people's body be, be their own uh, body. Then, go on. Then habits, you must quit to be happy. If you want to be happy, there are certain things that you must quit. One is uh, procrastination. What you are supposed to do today, you say, well, I'm a bit tired today, I will do it tomorrow. Then tomorrow you continue to procrastinate. A happy person will not do that. You have so many things that tomorrow that's already championed for tomorrow. So concentrate on what you are supposed to do, what you are supposed to do today, because what you don't start today, you can't say you are finishing tomorrow. It is what you start today that you can finish tomorrow. But if you say that, well, uh, I want to leave it to tomorrow and other things, that's not a good thing for somebody that decides to be happy. Then, uh, I've told you, start talking about, uh, 
and then quit trying to avoid change. I'm happy that somebody has talked about this issue of change. Change is very important. Don't feel that you, there is a habit that you cannot change. That is why we are human beings. When you do self-appraisal and you feel that something is found wanting in your life, the best thing is to change. Because if there is no change, then there will be no tomorrow. When there is no change, when you have sunlight, then you know that darkness is the next thing. Because keep, things keep on uh, changing. Then keep, uh, you must avoid running away from your problems. When there is a problem, face it squarely and try to solve it. Because by the time you start rubbing, running away, you are only pushing it forward. You are pushing it forward. You still meet it. Why not face it and try to uh, solve it? Yes. Then why practice happiness? Why do we need to, We're talking about happiness, happiness, happiness. Why do we need to practice happiness? That one is very important. Then we... No. The happiness is good for our heads. Physiologically. Because when you decide to be unhappy, there's an enzyme in the body that will start secreting and it's harmful to your body. So you must avoid uh, a situation that will make you unhappy. No. Then, uh, happiness is also good for our relationship. It's only when you are happy that you want to relate with others. Because when you are not happy, you can go and lock yourself up in the room and start thinking and so on. And that will not uh, help. Yes. Then, how to cultivate happiness? How do we cultivate happiness in our environment? One, yes. They say we should learn how to give thanks. They say, count your blessing, name them one by one. It's only then that you know what God has done for you. One way you can be happy and be satisfied with life is for you to count those things that you have been able to achieve those things that God has done for you, when you name them, even having good health, I think it's uh, the greatest uh, source of happiness that anybody can have. Those of us that are alive and we are kicking, we may not be able to appreciate that, but when you go to the hospital and see some people that have been there for months, maybe they are hanged, they are less hung, hung up, then you will know that you have something to be happy about. You give you inner satisfaction that you are even... Uh, then practice kindness. I've talked about that. Kindness. Try to make other people happy. Assist them out. Then give up grudges. Grudges. Uh, I will tell you a small story. When we were in secondary school, uh, I had uh, a rough time with a friend. Then when uh, exam came, and uh, we were supposed to write name and uh, exam number. So he was the one directly behind me when we were submitting our scripts. So, after I submitted my script, I went away. He submitted his own. Then, a, a minute later, I saw him calling me. I said, what was the problem? He said that it appears you didn't write your number, that you only wrote your name. And this is somebody I've had a grudge with. So, I it gave me, then I went back and I found that the information was correct. So, I wrote my number. That is somebody if he had behaved the way I behaved, maybe it would have been another thing else. But he summoned courage to bring it to my attention that I didn't write my number. So let us try to avoid grudges. It will not take us anywhere. Avoid malice. And uh, if somebody, some, we have a uh, disagreement with somebody, call the person, iron it out. If you want to be a happy person. If you don't do that, anytime you see that person coming, something in you will... Uh, you start to look at this man, he's coming again. You, you can, there's no way that one, you cannot be happy under that situation because you have a grudge with that person. So let us try as much as possible to avoid uh, uh, grudges. Then, equal of rest too is very important. Then, don't focus on material weight. After the basic needs of life, let other, other things go. Don't, don't watch it wet. Because if you watch it wet, there will be no, you can't, you continue to run from pillar to post. I told you, 
Uh, by the grace of God, I'm above 60. And uh, I've made it. I'm, I'm not praying to become rich, but just to be comfortable. Because by the time you say you are rich and you start worshiping money, there is no time you have a rest of mind to even enjoy what you have. Because your mind will be, how do I multiply what I have? What do I multiply what I have? Under that situation, you even appreciate what you have because you continue to want to accumulate more. So, it is, if, you want, if you want to be happy as a person, don't watch it wet. Let wet be uh, a messenger that you want to sell out, you want to send out to perform certain responsibilities and so on. And particularly for those around you. Also, when I was, in a, when I was to go to university, I lost my father after my higher school. And I have to revert to the church. The church then was still uh, the village church that we talked about. They gave me a loan, though the amount was small, but it played a role in my life. And with that, I made up my mind that whatever I can do to assist anybody who has a source in that church, and that's what I've been doing since then. Because if not for that uh, role that was played in my life, maybe it would have been a different thing entirely. So, giving assistance to others, let us make it a habit. At times people will say that, well, I will do that when I become rich. They say somebody who will not help when he becomes rich, will start, or somebody who will assist people when he becomes rich, it is now that he has a small that he will be able to give something out of the small that he has so that he will be able to benefit others. If you don't do that and you are waiting for when you become rich, that habit will be, become innate in you and then you feel that uh, it's no longer necessary or you won't have the... Uh, habit of uh, giving out. So, ladies and gentlemen, issue of happiness is something that all of us, we have to pursue if you want to live long. May God help us. Thank you very much.